It's D900 Man from MyGrowiPhone.com today, and we've got another great review for you, and this time it comes from Red Foundry. Now, you may have heard about Red Foundry, so I'm here to tell you what it's going to be all about. Now, Red Foundry is a new website that's created up, and it's just in better process at the moment. Uh, thankfully, the creators of Red Foundry have managed to send me a better a beta um, login so I can show you how to make apps and what Red Foundry is all about. So, a few things. Well, first of all, Red Foundry allows you to create mobile applications um, without all the code. So, if you're a newbie at creating applications just like myself, then this is the program or the website that you'll want to use, and I'm going to show you how simple it is. Now, first of all, it's not free um, altogether, guys, unfortunately. Uh, what it does allow you to do, it allows you to create applications for free, but if you wanted to upload them to the App Store, they do start charging you. So first of all, we're going to go and look at the pricing. Now they've got different tiers of pricing on the web, on the Red Foundry website, and as you can see here, you can try it for free, and this will allow you to try and build applications for free until you want to actually release them in the App Store. They've then got a silver package, which is $59 a month. Then you've got the gold, which is $99 a month. Your platinum is $200 a month, and it's a nearly £2,000 um, publishing fee. So you can see the different tiers, and it depends what you want to do from the Red Foundry. So let's get stuck in, and let's show you how to build an application. So here we go. I've got this application here, and I've logged in. Um, can't show you the login address, guys, because like I said, it is still... Uh, under beta regulations and uh, and thanks to Red Foundry for sending me this and I promise that I won't give out the link so I'm going to call this app uh, RF review so Red Foundry review and I'm just going to click on the create app here so that's going to take a few moments so as you can see here it gives me an app code allows me to test the app publish the app and it says congratulations you've just started building your app and it tells me where I am I'm in the build process at the moment now if I wanted to see the app on my iPhone I'd have to download their Viz program and Viz reproduces the experience a live app would work on the iPod uh, iPhone and iPad as well okay so we're gonna start first of all by creating the app icons so I've knocked up some app icons and I'm going to create a migrate iPhone application that pulls in all our RSS feeds and all our YouTube videos as well. So, first things first, I'm going to choose the file that I want to upload for this first icon. So, and it's going to be this one here, and choose that. So there's my first, then it's going to ask me my iPhone icon, so we're going to pick that one. Once again, that's the 57 by 57 PNG. And then my iPhone 4 icon, which as we all know is 114 by 114 um, pixels. And they, these all have to be PNG files, guys. And then you can also upload it for the iPad as well, which is obviously going to be the biggest of them all so we'll choose that one as well as you can see it's really easy so uh, that one hasn't been able to do that I did there we go that's that one so it showed me an error there that I uploaded the wrong file type so you can see all my icons there and I'm just gonna hit save okay and then it's gonna ask me to go down and do some loading screens. So I knocked a couple of loading screens up earlier um, so I can show you what the app would look like. So the first loading screen is this one here and it's for the normal iPhone. So the iPhone 2G, 3G and 3GS. That's uploaded there. Okay, so we'll choose these files. Should only take a couple of seconds for these to upload. Um, so we'll try them again to make sure they're all loading. Yep, that's better. And then the last one, obviously the biggest, is going to be the iPad. So now I've got all my loading screens uploaded. So what I can do now is uh, customise the look of my app. So we'll go into the app theme control here. 
I'll give that a few minutes to load or a few seconds sorry okay so it tells me about I can change the title bar I can change the default page properties and I can also change the social media so I can upload stuff to like Facebook Twitter and also email and also the tab bars at the bottom and the status bars which has got your clock and um, your signal your battery indicator so let's go back to the top so the background color of my um, title bar so as you can see the normal title bar would look like this so you'd have your carrier and it's got the back button and your title bar we'll go for a flat title bar okay and we'll go for a standard one okay so we'll just wait that wait for that to change over and it will let us customize a few things about the standard it'll let us customize what color we want so we'll keep this one with black um, but we'll change the icon um, and we'll go for a, a marker felt thin so it'll let us change the font and we're going to make that a little bit bigger okay so we'll save that you've got to remember um, that you have to save each and every step of this if you don't save it unfortunately so you can't just save the page so it'll now ask me about my page color so we're just going to pick a nice blue okay and um, it can last with background image a uh, content color and for the content color for this um, we'll go for a lighter blue okay input style square or standard and button styles square or standard remember we need to save that they've changed now we can change our social media color as well and we're going to change this to the blue like we had before okay we could color match that to this one so we'll make sure that that's a near enough color we'll open both of those up we'll make sure they're exactly the same so two four five by 99 by 97 by 23 two and two four nine and that's made sure that they're exactly the same color i can edit comments um, and it'll edit the comments box but we're going to leave those as they are for now I'll just wait for that to save for a second and as we can see it's rotating so the tab bar um, is we can have a standard tab bar or a radial tab bar and also the status bar remember we can have it showing or not and I like to see what time it is all the time during my apps so as you can see now we have customized the look of our app um, so we can go into app settings and this is where we add the different root menus and stuff to the application okay and also it'll tell us what type of app so we'll enable it on the iPhone and iPad and also the iPad um, we can give it enable uh, location services uh, on and off and we can allow it to work in portrait and landscape so we'll save all of them we'll see if we can add a little map as well so we'll wait for this to save and then we're going to add our pages now so the first thing we're going to do is a menu box now I haven't really played around with all this and um, so Okay, so we'll add an RSS and we're going to put it in category boxes. So we're going to do this one and we're going to call it um, News. I'm going to add that in there. We'll wait for it to save up. We've got News and it's going to ask for an RSS feed. So I know the micro iPhone one is www my great iPhone dot com forward slash feed forward slash and we can just make that sure that works and it does so we'll select that 
and we remember we're saving it to make sure it works. And then, as you can see here, we've got the news feed and it's an RSS category boxes, but we've also got details just here. So it's got a news feed, so it's going to ask us a little bit about it. So we've got the blue colour um, as a category text box. It'll ask us if we want social media plugins, yes, and commenters. We don't want comments on there. Um, hide title page bar and the icon so we can change the icons here as well. Let's see what we've got. So we don't want to change any of those, but it's going to give us this little tab icon. Okay. So we need to remember to save those little bits as well. So we've got our news feed all working on there now. So we're going to add something else, and this time we're going to add videos and also movies and we're going to add a YouTube video gallery and we're going to call it um, vids okay so we've got our vids there and I know it's my the YouTube link is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash my Great iPhone, we'll just make sure that's correct and it'll pull it through and remember to select that. And then it's got loads of once again different things. Um, so I can background colour, we can pick our blue again, okay, and our separate colour will go with the same blue. Oh, that's right. So we'll make sure we save them. And that should pull in all the YouTube videos for the Migrate iPhone channel as well. So as you can see, guys, this is really, really easy. So far, all I've had to do is pick some colour schemes, um, know where my feeds are coming from, and, and pretty much that is it. So we've got all our app here. So I can see it says Test App. And remember that I wanted to test it on my iPhone, show you guys what this quick app has looked like. Well, so as you can see, this is the application. I needed to log in with my details, my password, and that app uh, code that we got given at the top of the website, which was 28F-286. So we're just going to launch the application and it should pop up. So as you can see, this is what we made it. We put news at the top and we put a little radio icon at the bottom. And I can see all the individual um, news feeds that get pulled in here. So we've got the Weekly Breeze episode 12 and general info, which we can open that up. And as you can see, it opens straight back. Click the back button at the top. But also if I hold my button on this little radio button, I can go to the videos, news, and the about us page that we made. If I go to the videos page, you can see it pulls in all the Migrate iPhone videos straight from YouTube and it'll display them as well. So guys, that's the Red Foundry application builder on their website. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned a lot from it. Remember to comment, rate and subscribe this video. Head over to Twitter and follow the Migrate iPhone team. The links are just below. And also head over to our website www.migrateiphone.com which we've got all the news, reviews, let stories and information about all things iPhone. So thanks for watching again guys. This has been D900 Man and this has been the Red Foundry application video review.